Hi, I'm Addy. I like their colors, pink, purple, and green. I also really like princesses. I'm a kid just like you. The day Abby was diagnosed will be in my mind forever. Cancer is small bad cells inside of me. It only makes me sick. You can't catch my cancer. Dr. Wessler introduced himself as a hematologist oncologist, and um, his first words were, you know, your daughter Abigail has leukemia. <sighs> and uh, after that, I heard nothing else of what he said. Philadelphia comes out positive leukemia. We didn't know what to expect. It's, it's not something anybody can ever prepare for. Chemo fights the bad cancer cells, but it can also make my hair fall down. The current survival rate was about 30% for um, that type of leukemia. So um, at that point, we were still in a daze, and she had cancer, and we were going to treat it. So what we were going to do, we, she was going to go get a transplant. Some of the complications that can come from a bone marrow transplant can be that much more severe just due to the invasiveness of that procedure. This is all my medicine. I can swallow nine pills. Nine pills? Wow. <laughs> In Chicago, um, Dr. Hagia said, I have this protocol that I can put, that I can get Abigail to be a part of that includes this pill called the Satnib. This is Lily, my port buddy doll, and she has a tubi just like I get. Satnib was working so well along with the standard chemotherapy that she was not going to need a transplant. Take that cancer! We found out that St. Baldrick's was a huge part of funding the research for desatinib with PH plus ALL um, that literally changed her life expectancy from 30% to an approximate 70%. St. Baldrick's research greatly impacted uh, Abby's, what I would call her, her standard of care and the options that are available to Abby, not just today, and that we still have Abby with us, but hopefully Abby's future 10, 20, 100 years of her life. I like the game of life because it'll tell me what I'll do after college and what I'm gonna do when I'm a parent. I like to start with college first. It's a better idea. St. Baldrick's truly has given us hope for Abby and hope for all those kids right now sitting waiting for new treatments to be found or to be applied to their type of cancer. I, I'm forever thankful for the St. Baldrick's Foundation and the researchers that they funded for giving Abby the life that she has now. One day I'll be cancer free and I won't have to take you anymore and my hair will grow back.